dear professional colleagues this is r v shegar practicing company secretary today in this video i am going to discuss about the top 10 merger and acquisitions m and a happened in 2019 and 2020 in india advantages of mergers and acquisition the term mergers and acquisition m and a refer to the process of one company combining with the another in an acquisition one company purchases the other outright the acquired firm does not change its legal name or structure but is now owned by the parent company in acquisition in a merger a merger is the combination of two companies which subsequently form a new legal entity under the banner of one corporate name post merger some companies find great success and growth and others fail drastically successful merger and acquisition offers increased sales increased efficiency increased returns increased market share and increased shareholders return walmart took over flipkart flipkart is the other e-commerce giant in the indian market the singapore based firm acquired fashion and lifestyle website maintara in 2014 for 2000 crores just as flipkart moved from selling books to other consumer stuff maintara catapulted it into the clothing e-commerce domain acquiring jabang in 2017 and maintara has happened has made flipkart india's top apparel e-commerce company the following year in the year 2018 walmart took over flipkart in a deal of dollar 16 billion defeating amazon this deal gave walmart a fresh lease of life it got a chance to compete with amazon in its field a reader should know that amazon already hit hard the retail chain market of walmart had amazon won the deal given the deep pockets there would have been a virtual monopoly of amazon in indian e-commerce hence the deal fared well with the indian consumers future group acquires heritage foods future group owns its retail subsidiary under the name of future value retail limited this group in 2016 bought heritage foods heritage got a 3.95% share in the future retail in the deal the valuation of heritage share was valued at 295 crores rupees which currently values over rupees 600 crores future retail also entered in a deal with amazon in 2019 amazon has bought minority shares with an option to purchase promoters shares in the company after 3 years zomato acquires uber eats in india zomato recently acquired uber eats india for rupees 2492 crores such mergers are quite common in startups the reason is that most of the indian startups are backed by deep pockets and depend so much on investors if the funding stops startup end in the lurch some other deep pockets would go ahead and buy them somato hence acquired its competitors uber eats india contesting another competitor swiggy in the bid so it competed the swiggy and acquired the uber eats india ola acquires taxi for you sure this is similar how to how ola once bought taxi for sure taxi for sure ran out of money it increased its fares ola arrived in the market with fresh funding and hence offered cheap tickets it later bought taxi for sure with only one competition surviving in the uber tata motors acquisition of ford jlr in 2008 Ford Motors was running in luxury subsidiary Jaguar Land Rover JLR in a loss of dollar 520 million nobody was ready to buy such an indebted car company that was consistently losing its market then Tata arrived at its rescue it not only bought JLR for 2.3 billion dollars but it also reported a dollar 3400 million profit in the year 2019 Merger markets have much folk for 
One say that Tata once wanted to sell off Tata Motors to Ford Motor Company around 1998. Ford humiliated the Asian giant. Tata backed off the, from the deal. Ten years later, when Tata Motors was capable enough of the deal, Ford expressed its attitude to Tata that they, are, that they were buying it. Merger acquisition in Indian steel industry. India is one of the biggest steel markets in the world. India is one of the largest consumers and producers of steel. Three major merger and acquisition deals happened in three different scenarios. Amidst in a recession, various European steel companies were going bankrupt. Indian companies felt they had the right time to buy. Metal Steel merged with the Luxembourg-based steel giant Arcelor Steel. The deal valued whooping of $33.1 billion. The new company, Arcelor Metal, has now become the world's biggest steel company. Another deal came from the Tata Steel. It went ahead to buy UK-based Chorus Steel. Tata bought Chorus for $8.1 billion and later renamed it Tata Steel Europe. Unfortunately, the deal did not fare desired results for Tata Steel and many of its officials call it a not so wise move. Tata Steel recently acquired Bhushan Steel for 35,200 crores. Though the insolvency through the insolvency proceedings under National Company Law Tribunal NCLT, though the deal looks good for Tata, it is yet to be seen if the Tata Steel BSL follows bootsteps of Arcelor Metal or Tata Steel Europe. Merger and acquisition in Indian cement industry. J. Prakash Group's J.P. Simmons accumulated a lot of debt for itself. It even had to go, let go of its holding in the IPL team Deccan changes. Circumstances were forcing J.P. to go under the hammer at the NCLT through the newly litigated insolvency process. J.P. was Concerned that they would not get a reasonable price in the NCLT because everyone would know that they are desperate to be sold. They choose a win and win formula. They went to the Aditya Birla group that owned successful ultra tech cement acquired from the it acquired from the LNT group. The deal would, would not only give you a geographical expansion of to ultra tech cement, it would get access to high end contracts like expressways that were under JP Associates. The deal was worth rupees 16,189 crores and uh, added 21 million tons capacity to the Ultratex cement. PL Limited acquired R Star Life Science Incorporation. In 2018, India's UPL Limited acquired R Star Life Science Incorporation, uh, which, is in, which is operating in the US. The deal was worth rupees dollar 4.2 billion while UPL limited is in the business of crop production and agrochemical products it acquired the farm pesticide business of Arsta. this diversified the range of the products of UPL and the acquisition has made UPL the fifth largest agrochemicals company of the world this also gave it massive market access in Africa Latin America and China. Hindustan Unilever Limited HUL acquired GSK Consumer Healthcare. Hindustan U Unilever Limited HUL acquired GSK Consumer Healthcare of Glasgow Smith Klein GSK. The deal worth rupees 27,750 crores would give away products like Horlix and Boost in HUL's basket since this deal would affect the competition in the India FMCCG market because of the two companies are giants of the game. They are, the approval from the NCLT was needed. So while the amalgamation mainly benefits HEU because it gets a new range of renowned products, GSK would take all this money to establish its original production in Bangladesh. This is not a good sign for Indian business. The Vodafone idea merger deal. The telecom sector is in grave crisis for a long time. From the day of the 2G scam acquisition surface, the government policies and market dynamics have hampered the sector severely. The pimple on ulcer movement was the advent of Geo. 
the predatory pricing led to the two giants of telecom coming together to take on on the new rival the vodafone idea group is in the second largest telecom network in india after airtel unlike other mergers this is the merger of equals in the new company named vodafone idea vodafone has 45.1 percent holding while the aditya birla group and idea shareholders combined hold 54.9 percent recently geo platforms and style diluted their stake and that this is a recent happening in 2020 the geo platforms has diversified its flow in uh, to various companies for example facebook acquired about 9.9 percent silver lake 1.515 percent vista 2.32 percent general atlantic 1.34 kkr 2.32 muba mubadala 1.85 silver lake again 0.93 adia 1.16 tpg 0.93 l catarton 0.39 paif pif 2.32 intel capital 0.39 Qualcomm Ventures 0.15 and Google 7.73. In the geo platforms, Facebook and Google have invested very heavy um, percentage. So that is Facebook 9.9 percent and uh, Google taken a stake of 7.73 percent. This is very recent. What is the benefit of obtaining uh, this merger and deal? Obtaining quality staff additional skills. knowledge of industry or sector and other business intelligence as accessing funds or valuable assets from the new development if your business underperforming merger and acquisition is the best option to come out of it accessing a wide customer base and increasing your market share diversification of the product services and long term pro prospects of your business reducing your costs and overheads through shared marketing budgets increased purchasing power and lower cost and uh, finally reducing competition so merger of vodafone and idea it is uh, after there are only three players now one airtel then um, uh, vodafone and idea and uh, geo platforms so this uh, merger has helped it to become a second uh, big platform in india in uh, <coughs> friends thanking you very much and I, i i think that you like this video and of informative and i request you to like it to share it and also please subscribe my channel so that whenever you issue new topics video in future it will reach you directly thanking you once again rv shagar practicing company secretary